It's Monday, September 10th, 2012. I'm Ross Miller, and these glasses are just for dramatic effect. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge into the Darkness. After a weekend of back and forth, Amazon is now confirming Kindle Fire HD users will be able to opt out of the lock screen ads. According to a statement, users can disable special offers by paying a $15 fee. The Kindle Fire HD is now available for pre-order. The 7-inch model will be released on September 20th. And gaming portal Steam is now ready for your living room. Big Picture Mode, a TV-friendly redesign of the client's interface, will be available as a beta starting today. Valve says the interface has been designed for a gamepad in mind and even has a unique, quote, daisy wheel virtual keyboard. There's also a web browser that the company says, quote, doesn't suck. Big Picture is now available and every 1,000 downloads will bring the world one step closer to Half-Life 3. <laughs> And finally, it's iPhone week 2012. Here's just a sampling of the stories from the last few days. According to the Wall Street Journal, the next iPhone will support some LTE networks globally. Sprint today announced its new LTE network will be coming to over 100 major cities in the coming months. As for T-Mobile this week, the carrier will begin training its retail staff on how to set up unlocked iPhones from other carriers. And in related hardware news, iMore is reporting that the next iPod Touch will feature a 4-inch 16x9 display similar to that of the rumored next iPhone. The iPhone 5 is all but guaranteed to be announced at Wednesday's Apple event. We will, of course, be there live. And that's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow for an exclusive sneak peek at Star Trek The Trouble with Tribbles 3. Triple Threat.